Welcome, my friends. Rob here from Exploring here with Old Worlds and the Sacred and the Profane DLC. And the last I played this game, I was playing as the Hati, and I only played one episode because, unfortunately, the response wasn't really super great at first, but then it just started to pick up over time, and I realized maybe people are clamoring for some Old World content. I have not really played since then, to be honest. There has been so many quality of life changes, so many updates, I couldn't even possibly go over all of them. And I'm really excited to see how this game has progressed over the time this past six, seven months. So let's dive in and play as the Hati and the Hittites, as most people might know them, and kind of re refamiliarize ourselves with this game and also see what the Sacred and Profane DLC event system and stuff like that are all about. Let's go ahead. So we're going to go ahead and just leave it as is. I use randomizing families and the rest of it's default. All right, so we are, I am Hatsusuli, warrior king of the Hittites, and we are going to start. So this is a great starting spot. Holy crap, wow, I love it. Uh, maybe we come here, for, yeah, well, that way we can get all of that in there. And let's do something a little more economy related here. So we got four culture per Earn. These guys. Huh. I think the artisans are going to be the ways to go. Either that are the patrons. Adds luxury literature. Adds luxury literature. I like it. You know, we'll do that. The Ninasan. It's a good, good starting family for our capital city. All right. Supalioma joins the court. All right, we're going to need quarry for sure. And let's zoom out a little bit. A little too close for me. You? Wow, there's so much to do here. So let's look. We've got negative food coming in again. So we can do both food and growth if we go over here. So let's do that. And let's take a look at the shrine. Fairy treasure. Oh, man, that sucks. I'd like to... Let's see if we can do this. So we'll sell this. We'll sell 100 of this. Let's spend what we can in order to make this mine operational again. Hatusa gains porcelain. I dig it. It was a good, good choice. All right, you come over to the city site. We're going to take that, and we're going to make that our second city. And we'll also, we're going to assign a governor. We'll sign a governor. I'm pretty sure it's going to be my king. But let's see who else we have here. I don't want to add discontent. He's pretty much just great across the board. No one lowers discontent, so that's not good. That's not a huge hit. And I do like the additional research. And on top of that, he gets civics. But no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play it a little bit conservatively and leave the king there. Because I think that's a better bet. And after this, let's go ahead and add a worker. And then we will add a warrior too. Come on over here. Take the site. We're going to fortify there. And you can come over here and check out this spot. Spoiled ruins. Scavenging through the ruins, we find significant amounts of stone, iron, and wood. What do we need? We need iron for sure. All right, end our year. I can definitely tell the performance has improved too. I mean, I'm playing on an ultra wide and I can, usually I had a little bit of stuttering as I'd move around. It definitely does not stutter in. That was even with the 3080 that I have, the RTX 3080. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm very impressed with the improvements. The emissary of the Scythians has arrived at this, a grip of the wood and establish of, in hopes of establishing peaceful relations. Tremendous. I like it. Thank you. I'm not even going to look at the other options because I, I want to be good with them. 
not interested in war just yet. We've got to develop ourselves. Man, this game looks prettier than I remember it being. <laughs> I don't know if it's just... I, you know, I, I just like it. God. I really should play more of it. For a long time, the Nenasan the Nenasan family has expected to marry one of our scions to Hastaras the Younger, but more recently, a rich merchant has offered... No, it's, I don't want to piss anybody off. And only for 270. Uh, that's just not enough. Although that is a very good character. What is the family? Oh man, it's not. It's we've got some wiggle room there. Twenty stone. God, that's a good character. Sorry, I'm sorry, family. At least you're still not mad at me yet. All right, so we can go back and do more nets. We could build a mine for some iron. We'll do that. We will do that. All right, so where we go, where we go. Let's go this way. The Marquis or the Maki Shrubland. I could use another scout. I might use my warrior to scout after the settler's done. All right, so Prince Mercy is now old enough to be tutored by courtiers. And the Sun family's offered a suitor, oligarch Asimulico the... I'm not going to try this anymore. An oligarch for your son. But Pampira refuses the proposed match. How shall we handle the situation? Who's Pampira? Oh, my son. He will do it for the sake of the nation. You can find him. Oh, I don't want to piss the family off any further. Disappointed. Yeah, I'm sorry, buddy. Such is the way, my man. All right, so politics for charisma and, and culture. Sorry, civics. It's been a minute. I forgot. We can add courage for some training rate, commerce for money, or philosophy for some research. Our research rate's pretty low. Let's do that. All right, so we have tradable literature and porcelain. Now, can we give them... One of those here. Send or stop. It won't let me. There we go. We can give them literature or porcelain. Porcelain. Let's see if that helps our... Yes, it does. It helped our discontent level for sure. All right, so it's only plus two. Wow. They, they did some pretty radical changes to discontent. I think it's because discontent was out of control, in my opinion. And that definitely feels a lot more manageable. All right, next unit, come on down. We'll continue to explore. We need another city site for sure. The one thing, I mean, this is funny because I don't actually really like having sprawling empires in 4X games. This game for sure, for sure, emphasizes sprawling empires, like the, the necess necessity for them. And you, you can't win this game without having a lot of cities. The Scythian delegation rides into the city carrying a measure proposal from their leaders. They suggest that Ophia the Scythian, or Hippolyta the Scythian, good wife for Labarnus a schemer. Hmm. Yes, ring the bells. For some reason, that's always a legitimacy hit. Go and pick the day. So, one gives me wisdom, and she's a scholar, which could be a spy master. Ooh, I like that. Or one gives me courage and discipline, which I also like. And she's a general or ambassador. Also like the idea of having an ambassador. Huh. I like the courage and discipline. I need more money and more training rate, always. All right, let's move this one so we can take this. We can harvest that before we... Oh, no, let's go ahead and... All right, so we can always connect them for riders. I don't see any horses. Let's make sure there's no horses first. No, nope, there's no horses. We could use this one for culture. This one's going to gain training rate, city defenses, and we'll gain militia. They're not gonna be connected. 
Can build units that require horses, camels, or elephants. We'll just need to find horses, camel, or elephants. So let's go ahead and do that, just to connect them. Oh, look at that. Great. So there is some in the area. Two overturned wagons are discovered in the clearing. They're goods scattered across the grass. A Roman woman and her children weep over a dead body. The survivors claim that a bear attacked them without warning. I'm not really interested in upsetting the Romans, so we're going to go ahead and escort them to the nearest settlement. Oh, man, they are close. Oh, no. I don't like them being that close. So if we get a specialist, we can bring them... Oh, that's freaking goats. Dang. Dang. Or sheep, I should say. The closest horse... Oh, wait. There might be a spot over here. Let's we'll take this barbarian spirit. These barbarians out. That's our thing. We're going to take them out. We need them horses. Alright, we'll take a warrior. Sorry, a worker. And we'll also... Ooh, We'll also take a warrior next. All right, well, yeah, that's gonna be our goal. So scouts enter an expedition of strangers, encounter an expedition of strangers following a similar route. They call themselves Assyrians. Show them our goodwill. Keep the meeting civil, who cares? Appear the son, your judge, and oligarch Asimoko the Warlike have given birth to a son, Duke Tor Tessip. Good for you. <laughs> oh, great. Our scouts encounter a party of Egyptian soldiers whipping a man. We're going to leave them alone. You whip your man. I don't care. All right, so Chancellor and Chariot. We'll need that because A, Chancellors are great, but also Chariot because once we get these horses here in a minute, or hopefully in a minute, we'll be able to... Produce some chariots. We Hittites are the people of a thousand gods. We do not, don't deny the gods of anyone. So what should I do? We should strive to never offend any of the gods. Absolutely. And he becomes pious. And as a governor, he reduces discontent. I like it. The victims of the bear attack are delivered safely. Express a desire. Or we could suffer, offer to set up a trade between our two nations. I gain food. And we trade food. Or sorry, I gain money. Even better. <laughs> I'll take it. The poetess of the Nenesans and a distinguished emissary of the Kisarans have each made a request to the court asking you to support their family. Oh, come on. All right, so the Nenesans want to control six quarries. That's actually probably more likely to happen than controlling five military units anytime soon. So we'll do that. We're going to send these guys up here. We're going to promote them and give them combat one or strike. We're going to give them strike one. All right, and you'll come down here, hopefully to find a city spot. That'd be great. But it doesn't look likely. Wow, yeah, so just panning around the map, I'll tell you, that looks, it's just, it's so much more smooth. Great job, Mohawk. All right, so, yeah, we'll bring over here, harvest those horses. When harvesting the horses, your scouts discover one steed with a coat of pitch black hair. This is definitely a new event. What is that button here? Oh, that just took me. Oh my God, it took me out of the game and was talking about history. It actually, it actually connected to a history lesson. That's awesome. All right, so basically we have one that's divine stock, a stallion fit for the gods. Let the horse sire our new line your stables. Plus 50 XP for new horse units. Take the horse for yourself. Add some courage. I become swift. Or send the horse as a gift for oligarch Karapsi the tough. I kind of want, yeah, a new line in our stables for sure. The Scythians, we're probably pretty decent terms with them right now, right? Are we? I don't know. <laughs> I should look. All right, so that's not where they're at. Oh, this is all changed. So the tribes, there we go. They are plus 40. Back to the only ones. How are we still negative 20? Very close. Yeah. No, I don't doubt it. That would upset me too. All right. We'll harvest honey the next turn. Yeah, that's going to be a problem. We are really close to the Romans. And the Romans are very war happy. So that could be a problem. 
It will be a problem. I'm certain of it. All right. A quarry. We're going to build a quarry so we can control six quarries. Let's go ahead and attack. I wish that, like, individual units would fall as the strength of the units decreased. It looks cooler that way. But I also think that's because I'm using the red mod. I don't think there are usually that many units, but it doesn't matter. Make them fall, please. All right, so we've gained some culture. Let's follow you. <laughs> Let's just pester the scout, this Roman scout. All right. They're probably going to attack me because they're dumb. I forget that there's no music until you... I think, I forgot what the research is called but there's a particular topic epics maybe there we go all right a little lower on life than i'd expect to be or i'd hope to be so we might come back we might fall back next unit all right let's see how far away are we we are far away i'll come over here oh man I was hoping for a city site, but we're going to have to start taking them, I think. Let's harvest these horses. Some more barbarians. Imagine that. And end our year. Oh, man, I don't know. Oh, they've begun construction... Of the hanging gardens let's see what we can do to give them something we can give them six plus six hp and then some additional i don't want to kill her i definitely don't want her dying and loses that gains defense strength and gains critical heal or sorry critical hits i don't like any of those actually Plus 25% from urban. That's defense, right? I'm pretty sure that's defense. Guard one. Maybe it's just in. Yeah, I think that's. Consumes one training rate. We're gonna do it. And then we're gonna we're gonna definitely draw back just to do a little bit of healing. Now that I've invested a bit more into that unit. I don't want to lose it if we can avoid it. All right, hollow some, harvest some olives for some more culture. And we'll come around here. His mother's disposition. Representatives from the academy arrive at the court bearing news of Prince, Prince Mercilly. He has been well and is turning out to be a charming as his mother. All right. All right, this is definitely a new event. So the city, port city of Hattusa sees a steady flow of travelers entering the sea, merchants and diplomats from distant lands risking the perilous seas. The latest residents are unlike all others. The god Isis and Serapis have been brought to visitors from Egypt and have gained enough of a following and they should be called. So this is the cult stuff that comes with the sacred and the profane. Your advisors warn that they've heard the cult is being spread in a desperate plan, or sorry, deliberate plan by Queen Hepshepset, the settler of Egypt, to gain influence in other lands. Welcome, I mean, welcome to foreign cult. That's actually bad. I mean, I guess it should be. Allow the cult to create laws to limit their influence. Oh, man. How are we feeling with Egyptians? We could be friends. Hmm. I'll allow them. I know it's a bit of a legitimacy hit, but I think the fact that we could probably be friends with the Egyptians is a good thing. We don't want too many enemies. And they're relatively close. They're, like, down in the uh, south... East corner there. Looks like someone's attacking them. We want to take that before they do. We don't. We don't want to lose land to anyone else. Move into the spot, and we're going to take it. All right, Hastaras the younger decries our recent sacking of her brain settlements as dangerous and necessary. She accuses the court of willfully sowing the seeds of unending war by acting in a way that only serves to raise the future threats against us. Conquering savages is the way of expansion. 
I like it. It's a hundred percent true, and it's happening. And now that's my sight, and I've gained a settler. That was a good move all around. And if we probably oh there it is. We move there. We get the horses. Boom. I have succeeded. I did what I set out to do. More quarries? Of course more quarries. We need six of them. God, that worker's taking forever. Not gifting Adana to another player for sure. Let's manage luxuries. We'll give them literature. And we've reduced their discontent. Gain as well, which is great. We'll take some marble. The latest fashion for the upper class in Hattusa is to adorn the gates of their estate with beautifully carved marble statues. As the recently discovered marble is of especially fine quality, it has caused a bidding war of nobles. Yes. Yes. Sell to the highest bidder. I don't want the money. I'd rather have legitimacy. Since I gave some of that away. So, we'll continue on. All right, so war demand. An, an entourage of grim ambassadors arrive from Assyria. They bring a message from the ruler. He demands that we declare war against their enemy, the Scythians. No, we're good with the Scythians. You can go away. All right, if we stay there, that'll keep that'll give us both. Oh, that's a good spot. All right, yes. All right, cool. So what do we do? Well. We probably give it to these guys for their culture bonus. Although Hattusan champions gain training rate, city defense, gain militia, plus 25% training rate increase. And I'll have horses. I'm doing it. All right. Landmark discovered. Mount Hassan. And look at that. I have two gem resources now. That was a great city. Wow. Man, that was that was good. <laughs> that was really good. I'm really happy with that. All right, you're going to probably just stay here. I'm going to have you sleep for here. And then we're going to have you heal. I wonder who was attacking the other, the barbarians on the other side. Because clearly they are being attacked. That's why I was able to kill them in one shot. And we need to start with a worker. Get it done. Let's build the oracle. Let's do it for some culture and also some victory points. We're going to need to alt buy it. Everything is it positive? Yeah, we're positive. I don't want to... Uh, maybe... Nope, don't have the money. But that'll be ours. It will be ours. All right. Let's kind of skate around. Nope, can't skate around the Romans. Nothing to skate around, unfortunately. Syria being up here. Let's see what's going on up here. All right. And we'll do one more turn, wrap this episode up. I'm going to do a full Let's Play. I haven't done one in a very long time, and I'm eager to play Old World. It feels like it's a much improved game. I mean, it was already such a good game, but it already feels, it just feels much more polished. A fantastic game, really. Now that Prince Mercilee has completed his study of philosophy, how shall you contribute to the court? You can be a builder and serve as a governor or chancellor. Governor, you build one year to build improvements. Nice. Mm, but he can also, as leader, can withdraw to redraw text plus three, plus two. Oh my god, both of them are good. I'm gonna make him a builder so I can add him as a governor. A caravan of Egyptian performance makes a stop in Apollo to celebrate the promising relations between our nations. Among the troop is Neferur, heir to the Egyptian throne. Throughout the evening, you notice her catching the eye of her, your heir. Let the heirs have their harmless fun. I like it. I mean, express your concerns to Queen Hepsi. 
I'm gonna let the ears have their fun. I feel like if we were to like find a way to to create that kind of bond, we might be able to. What the? They took out my friends. And now they're super close. Oh, I have a feeling Assyria and I are not going to get along. No, we are not. My strength? Is that a good or bad thing? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Do I have strength? I think we need to build more military units. I think that's a pretty important thing right now. Messages from the nation of Persia to greet our scouts, inviting them to inform informal gathering. Keep the meeting civil. Yeah, I'm not really worried about them right now. Oh, wow, they are much closer than I expected, though. I must have played on a small map. I don't remember doing that, but I guess I did. All right, that's the end of that map. Yeah, oh my god, it is a small map. Huh. And there's five of us in this little, like... Oh, fire pit, basically. Oh, man. All right, we will heal. Oh, man. I don't like this. I think what we'll do is we'll end up probably going to war with Assyria in the next episode. I'm going to produce more military units. And, like, a, maybe off-camera for a minute. I'm going to do a little bit of like off camera stuff and I'll come back and we'll probably try to declare war on Assyria. But so far I'm really enjoying some of the sacred and profane DLC stuff that I've seen. The cult stuff is cool and there's a couple of new events. I mean, God, at this point there's got to be like 4,000 events because this new one, this new DLC added about 400 and I know they were pushing 3,000 or over 3,000 before that. So there's just so many cool little twists and turns with the stories here and the the way that the characters interact. I love it. So come on back for the next episode. This is Rob from Explomate with Old World, the Sacred and Profane DLC, and the Hatti, the Hittites. Until next time, keep exploring.